presented by EA Creator Network. Now, from Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, EA Sports so proudly presents this step on the road to the Masters. Rich Lerner, so pleased to be joined by Frank Navalo. And Frank, the setting here at Augusta National, as always, is ideal. You could just sort of sit and watch and soak it all in. But you have to get out there and play. So what are the keys to being successful here? Getting used to the uphill and downhill lies. Uh, and you see that on what is regarded really as the most perfect par five ever created. That's 13. Because if you had a nice tee shot, you're going to go for that, uh, go for that green across the tributary of Ray's Creek. Then, then you're better used to be having the ball above your feet. And of course, then you get to 16. And I'm going to steal a, uh, a line, you know, from uh, the great Vern Lundquist. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. You know you're playing a beauty. So we're just going to get in nine holes here, and we start at the difficult par four tenth, the steep downhiller known as Camellia. And that's an excellent tee shot. Actually took the corner of the dog leg on. And the payoff, a slightly flatter lie and a better angle into this green that tips to the left. Ah, uh, that's right in the pocket. Now, watch this gravity take over here. That's going to come on down the slope. Wow, really well done. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. All on a bit of a downslope here as he ponders his second. So it finds the bunker on the right of this green. Now the problem starts because everything slopes away from the bunker. A very fast bunker shot. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. Good chance at one. Okay, that should be inside of 10 feet, not too bad. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And this is gonna be working from his left to right, not much pace in it at all. Yeah. 
that that was low from the start. Eight foot putt here. Ooh, maybe a misread there, and that curls by to the left. Yep, good work not to let that get away, and that's in for a par. Okay, can't take touch that length for granted, but that's in for a par. On now to the second hardest hole in Masters history, the 520 yard par 411. It's been noted that the great Bobby Jones always wanted there to be a wide gap between a good tee shot and a bad one. Thus, in keeping with that spirit, this hole was lengthened 15 yards back in 2022. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. a bit of a misstep there. That ball's going to come to rest in the second cut. Up just on enough earth there to slow that ball down, and it is going to wind up in the hazard. MN Corner officially begins now, is second at hole number 11.
always a little trickier. Club selection is key playing downhill in this shot. I didn't realize this all was this long. Uh, long, short, and here we go again. Now, uh, this would be an unbelievable part if you can make this part. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. Thirteen feet away. Well, he came into this hole at even par, but with the double, he walks off at two over. this golf course are the colors more vibrant than right here hole number 12 so easy on the eyes so much harder is figuring the mysterious winds the answers lie somewhere near the top of those towering pines that kiss the georgia sky augusta's beguiling beauty golden bell Yeah, not a great shot. That's going to wind up missing to the right of this 12th green. That one safely on the putting surface.
Nah, a little too cautious there. Maybe fortunate this didn't wind up in the creek. Instead, it is in the bunker short of this 12th hole. Yeah, the green just didn't want to hold that one. That'll run off into the short grass. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, and it's a pretty makeable one. Little bit of break from left to right, really not a lot. Pretty good effort right there. Just a tap in. Wow, even though that'll be a bogey, that is about as good as you can do right there. That ball took a peek at the hole. Excellent shot. Well, Frank, this is a case where a par is going to feel like an eagle if he's able to get this done. If he can just make it, just make this putt, then just, like, run to the next tee. Slow down. Okay, that'll run about four feet by. Okay, good job there to limit the damage, though it will be a drop shot as that score dips to plus two. What a rocky road to this point. Four over par on the round. So that'll be a par, no damage done, and so he'll stay at plus two. This 13th tee box, one of the favorite spots for all the golfers. It's a respite, it's very peaceful back there. Chance to gather your thoughts and then maybe gather some momentum, turn one over off the tee, and then turn on the jets, maybe make eagle here. this up that left-hand side. Yeah, that ball took the turn of the fairway beautifully, and this is going to be in great shape to go after this 13th green in two. That will do just fine. And that one's going to hit hard. Get a little bit of run out. And that is going to wind up just fine. 
now from just under 300 yards, a second from the fairway at the par five. Three wood came out like a bullet. You could just see that first bounce just took that massive kick forward. It's never going to stop. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Well, the good news is the ball didn't find the creek on the approach. The bad news is you got to hit this bunker shot back down right toward Ray's Creek. Oh, this could be trouble. That ball just had a mind of its own there. No way to get it to stop. And it winds up in the water. So he'll take the drop and now go about trying to somehow save par. And this will be his third to the par five. Well, the ball is on the green. That's about all I can say with that. With a short wedge in hand, you'd expect that certainly be much closer than that. Uh, just too tough to control out of the sand. That one unable to hold the green. It'll run off into the short stuff. Way too good, I must say. That was uh, just smashed. Yeah, sizable putt left. A lot of movement on this putt left to right. I think the idea here is just to get it inside sort of a three-foot circle. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. Not an easy one, 20 feet away. Not 
That pace was okay, but that needed to be started a bit further out to the right. <laughs> this is where the game becomes so cool sometimes. Okay, a tough hole there that's in for bogey, and that score will dip to plus three. Okay, that's finished off for a punt. No doubt would love to have this one back. That's a double boat, two drop shots. On to the 440 yard, par 414th, the only hole at Augusta National without a single bunker. The terrace green is the challenge here. That's up the left side. And that a good shot up the hill and into the fairway at 14. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Well, what a roller coaster uh, round today. Haven't seen much good out there, to be honest. So this one really stands out. A, uh, a good shot certainly stands out. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Hall definitely sitting in the go zone. If you can hit your number, ball could get really close. from the fairway. Let's go to Noda. The most attractive feature of this hole is the dynamic design of the green, cut into three separate sections, guarded by an amazing false front where the ball will come all the way off the front edge. Well, that one didn't work out. Didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. He's got 113 yards to the front, 146 to the hole, pin in the back.
Golf is so much about nearlies. Just a little bit more effort on that one. It would have been close. Instead, just that awkward distance. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Eleven feet away. Ah, oh, really nice right there. That was a touchy one, but it's in for a par. Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that, in for a par. Seven over for the day. On to the final par five on this second nine, the now 550-yard 15th. This historically has played well under par, but renovations in 2022 added an extra 20 yards to the hole. Well-placed tee shots to the right side of the fairway create a big advantage, but the risk of running into the pine straw or facing a side hill lie has also been increased. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. That's a fine tee shot, but it is a long, long way to this par five. Some say it's not how you start, but it's how you finish. Are you a believer in that? Because I actually think that was a really good shot. So it starts here. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Looking at the greatest second shot in golf, but don't let the beauty fool you. There is trouble everywhere. Okay, wasn't trying to get home in two, just playing for position, and the five wood does the job. Yeah, a bit of a popcorn shooter there, five wood, just safe little shot, knock it down there. Yeah, this is going to wind up being a good layup here at 15, and a smart one as well.
Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really, trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Uh, ball's on the green, I know that, but uh, I'm looking at the flag, and I don't see the ball by the flag. Now his third, staring right at the green. Uh, that's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance, and you know, far from the best shot I've seen today. Substantial movement on this putt right to left, and it's from distance. So this one not just about speed, but line as well. That is an excellent lag putt right there. Had the speed perfectly. Look at birdie here at 15. Just slightly down the hill this one, but it's going to have a good amount of movement from right to left. Ah, that is lefty right there. A beautiful putt, and the result is a birdie. So that not his best, and this part of his game has been disappointing, to say the least, today. It certainly has, and sometimes you just get too much going on upstairs. You know what I'm talking about. So you don't focus on what you need to do. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. coming into this hole now it's starting to slip away with the double bogey he's at five over okay that one cleaned up without any issue and that is a par par 3 16th here at augusta national and so many of the most indelible moments in the history of the sport happen right here at this short par three. That one gonna wind up smack dab in the middle of the green.
And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Going to have to give this a pretty good thump. This is well back there and into the hill. We often say, Rich, you should always try and make it. I've got to disagree with that. Lag putting, it's just about taking the strain off the next one. There's always other holes to be played. And from that distance, you settle for two putts. Good little bunker shot, just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Oh, what a good job of keeping that club face open throughout contact. You saw the big splash, and this winds up just a few feet from the hole. Now from the bunker. You know, just a little splash out on this par three. Yeah, that's going to be just okay. Might have been a little worried about not getting it out. And instead, this is going to leave a tough putt coming up. Pretty good read there. Definitely good speed. And it just skips a foot or so by. See the frustration building. That is not a great putt there. No, nope. rushed it. Not a good hole of golf here. It is that time to pick up and move on. Been that kind of day. Eight over par already. And that in safely for his par to keep him at plus one for his round. Next up, the uphill par four, 17th, measuring 440 yards. The Eisenhower tree, you may remember, was removed in 2014 after being damaged in an ice storm, but challenges remain, especially the green, which seems to slope off in just about every direction. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Just what you want to do, land it in the fairway, get a little bit of roll out, and that is a good shot. In this game, it pays to have a convenient memory. Anything in the past, forget it. Just keep hitting shots like that. Well done.
that's not going to be enough. It's into the front right bunker here at 17. Now from just under 170 out, this is second. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know that bad, but it is a great approach shot. Boy, that needed to hit the flagstick. He nearly went in the hole, but instead, it runs out quite a ways. And on 17 feet on this putt. <laughs> Nothing to it. Back to back cars here to keep him at plus one. It's been a tough ride. This would be a nice birdie. Nope, that's not on target, and he just hasn't been able to make much happen here. Oof. Safe to say Augusta National may not be as simple as it looks when you watch on TV. That is in for double bogey. We arrive now at one of the most famous finishing holes in golf. 465 yard par 4 18th at Augusta. Uphill, dogleg right, two bunkers at the left elbow of the fairway and two greenside bunkers protecting a two-tiered green. Quite a sight. Yeah, that one navigated beautifully through that narrow opening, and that is going to work out just fine.
Ah, uh, that a beautiful tee shot through the chute here at 18. And that is going to be ideal. And this is going to come down and lodge itself in the second cut. So now, up the hill, the second at 18. Well, had a good lie in the fairway, but couldn't do anything with it. That comes up woefully short. Frank, on an uphill shot like this one, did you do anything differently in terms of your setup over the ball? Yeah, I made sure the ball wasn't too far forward because on an uphill shot, there's always a struggle to get all your weight going forward. Third shot, looking for a good one. Excellent scoring opportunity from only 110 yards. you salvage a hole. Things were going a little sideways, right? But boom, in the hole from off the green. And that is a welcome par.
Yep, good work there to make sure things don't get worse, but as it is, it's a double bogey. Cleans that up in the hole. Well, that about wraps it up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nabilo. Really enjoyed it, Frank. Yeah, it's been a good day out here. Once again, we've seen the golf course give more than it takes. Well, Frank Nabilo, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.